In this video, I show you how I create my Space Marine camo cloaks. What I'm hoping to achieve with this camo cloak is the illusion that the cloak is transforming before our very eyes. Now this is meant to be the far-flung future of the 41st millennium, so I'm going to go ahead and assume that these cloaks are technologically advanced enough to be able to match the surroundings even on a textured level. So I'm going to be making the bottom of the cloak where it is transforming look similar to the base of which the miniature is stood upon. Before priming this model I simply added some sand to the base with PVA glue. The way I primed the model was with a coat of black and a smidge of white from above to create some natural highlights which will be useful as I am using contrast paints on the armour like I demonstrated in a previous video which I will link right here. The first thing I am going to do is base coat the whole cloak in my chosen colour which in this case is purple. I chose purple as it complements the green of my dark angels quite nicely but you can pick whatever colour best suits your Space Marine chapter. Whilst the base layer is still wet, I'm going to work a light shade of purple into the top areas. I'm doing this to try and create a smooth transition in between bright and dark areas where the light may or may not be hitting. This technique is known as wet blending and I'm still figuring it out. You by no means have to do this, I am just using this opportunity to practice the technique. Once some basic highlights have been applied, it's time to mimic the texture of the base. And to do this, I'm going to do the exact same thing that we just did on the base, which is apply PVA glue over the cloak and pop some sand on it. When applying the glue, make sure to use an old brush so you don't ruin a nice one and stick to the lower half of the cloak. I will try to create a varying line of where the sand stops for a bit of visual interest. It can be a bit boring if it's a straight line. Once you've stuck the sand on these areas, you should leave your model to dry for at least an hour. As to not waste time whilst this was drying, I went ahead and started painting the rest of the model. If you want to be extra sure that the sand won't come off once it is dried, you can apply a thinner layer of PVA glue by watering it down over the sand that you've already put on the cloak. This thin layer of PVA glue will seal it quite nicely, however I was in a rush and was too impatient to do that. Once all the texture is dried, we can go ahead and lay down a base coat. I'm using Steel Legion Trap as it fits with the rest of the army. You want to paint both sand on the cape and on the base. Again, you have to wait a little bit for this model to dry, as next, it's time to wash the model. That's right, go chuck this sucker in the washing machine. No, we want to apply a brown wash. I'm using Agrax Earthshade over the whole cloak and base. Then, yet again, it's time to wait for things to dry. If you've been painting the rest of the model at the same time, now would be a great opportunity to wash the rest of the miniature and apply any transfers. Now for the fun part, my favourite type of highlighting, dry brushing. If your wash is completely dry, now we can go ahead and do some dry brushing. I'm going to do two separate layers, the first being with a shafty bone, and then the second being a lighter, thinner layer with screaming skull. Make sure to remember to do this both on the cloak and on the base. At this stage, the cloak is looking pretty cool and you could leave it here, but I'm going to play around and add a virtual line where the cloak is transforming to match its surroundings. To do this, I'm going to first run a line of light purple around the edge of all the sand on the cloak. I will also add some vertical lines. I then simply repeat this process a few times, but mixing white with the purple, so each layer is a little lighter than the last. You really have to experiment with this. I feel like I overdid it on this mini in particular, but the other two that you will see now look much better. So there you have it. I hope you found this video somewhat useful, and if you did, why not give this video a thumbs up, and maybe consider subscribing to see more content. Uh, but other than that, until next time, I'll see you later.